How to create a document library. First of all, it's a good idea to have your document library inside a table. So select edit. Scroll down to where you'd like your table. I'm going to insert a single table first because I'm going to call this document library. As this is a heading, highlight it, select format, select 18, select design, the header, and choose the colour you would like. The next step I'm going to do is to put a table underneath for my document library. Now document libraries only take up half a page, so you can have two document libraries next to each other. This time, insert, table. Now we're ready to put our document library here. Go up to the cog, select, add an app. Oops, you need to save first. Select save on that page. Now, select the cog. Add an app. Now the app you want is a document library. You need to give it a name which is your year level. And what the document library is. And this is my technology page so it's going to call this technology resources. Technology student resources. Create. Now you've created the app which is now living in the site contents. You want to put it onto your page. So go back to your page. This is a page I want to put it onto. Select Edit. I would like to put my document library here, so I put my cursor. Insert. Now this time I'm inserting an app part because a document library is an app part. Find it. So I call it here five. Go. Oops, the arrow for more of them. Here it is, U5 Technology Student Resources. Select Add. And your document library will appear in there. Select Save. To work with your document library, here are a few tips. Select Edit, create a folder so it's easy for students to follow, I like a new folder and I like to call this uh, um, Sheets on Tools or Worksheets. Create I would also like to have another one for um, homework, resources, whatever you would like to put there. Once you have a folder, you click on the folder, and then select Upload. Locate your document, your Word, Excel, anything you'd like to put there. I might just put in there, here's a worksheet, select OK, and there it is. So now, if I click on the Algebra worksheet, the students have access to download our, that document from there. Select save. Now if I just refresh my page, 
You notice on my Year 5 page, I have a document library here. Here are the two folders. I click onto the folder. There is the resource which I uploaded. Now if you have a document here and you want to delete it, a folder, you can click on the drop down menu there, click here and delete if you've made a mistake. You can also add another document library over here which may be for assessments.